start by knowing your full name and your position. Okay. My name is uh, Lawrence Wilbert. I'm the national president of the Federal Government College um, All Students Association, the national chapter here in Nigeria. People want to know, what is this all student issue all about as it relates to Federal Government College Ogulao of Kogi State? Yeah. This is a, an association of uh, students who graduated from the uh, Federal Government College Ogulao in Kogi State, formerly of Bainue State, from inception till date. It's an association where anybody that's graduated from the school is, uh, is automatically a member. Now, the ethos of this association is really bringing together all students mm. with the primary motto of pro unitate, which is the motto of the, the unity colleges, the federal government colleges in Nigeria. Pro unitate, promoting unity, bringing the all students together to network, to uh, build the bond amongst uh, Nigerians of the different part of Nigeria, uh, because by default, uh, as a unity graduate, we have already associated or lived with persons from different parts of Nigeria. I understand the convention is coming up. What is the purpose of this convention? Oh, great. That's a, that's a fantastic question. I appreciate that. Uh, the convention is coming up on the 1st, that's Friday, the 1st uh, and 2nd of uh, November. Um, just a few days away. The purpose of this convention, which is actually the third in a series of conventions held biannually, mm. it's a biannual um, a, a general meeting where everybody comes together from all the states nationwide to deliberate on the current status of all students, one, to network amongst ourselves, to empower ourselves, two, mm. three, to now see how we can give back to our alma mater, mm. being uh, the Federal Government College Ugolawo, how we can also assist the old students, the federal government, to further build the school and make sure it's a conducive environment for students to go for good education. Now, also during this um, this, this uh, convention, we there are going to be other uh, events taking place, of course. You can't bring people from all over the country without having a bit of fun. So, uh, part of the, the formal part of it, we're going to have a, a courtesy visit to the recently uh, coronated Ata Igala. You know, His Royal Majesty Michael Ame Oboni, the Ata of Igala land in Ida, he's, uh, he's kindly accepted to, to host us. We do not have a novelty football match to bring some fun into the whole event. Mm. And of course, like every good student of Ugolawo will know, we're going to have a great party time. We're going to have a ball. So there's going to be a reception party on the 1st of November and also on the 2nd of November. We're going to have a great time. One thing I just forgot to add in, which is actually one of the most important items of the agenda, is um, the election. Now, my seat and the seat of my executive members is going to go up for re-election for another two years. So that's an important part. So uh, for all students uh, nationwide that are happy or not happy with the way the association is being run right now, mm. it's actually a good opportunity for them to come in and vote in competent uh, uh, members to the National Expo. Or if they feel we're doing a great job, then we appreciate it, and then they re-elect us into the office for another two years. All right, sir. Let's talk on invitation. I understand yes. your school has local chapters in Lagos, Abuja, Potako, Lokoja, and Kaduna. How do you intend Correct. to invite all those local chapters to come on board for that election or re-election? Great stuff. Now, the former part of it is uh, we've sent out formal invitations to these, uh, these chapters, which are already established. So they already have, uh, for the past two months, they already have uh, letters of uh, invitation from a letter notifying them of the agenda of the event. And they have already consequently uh, notified their members. However, one thing we find that with a school like Federal Government College of Bolawo, which has been in existence for over 35 years now, we, the, over 10,000 students have passed through the school. So there are areas like Kano, mm. areas like Sokoto, Areas like Meiduguri, Joss, 
MENA. Lots of areas, particularly in the north, besides the southern part and the other parts of Nigeria, which have a good population of old students, already doing good works for the nation. But there is no formal chapter in those areas. Now, this is where this conversation and your good self come into play. So the listeners now listening in will know about it and make their travel plans to be in Ogolawo on the 1st and the 2nd of November. So this also serves as one channel of invitation to those who haven't received or who are not aware of the formal um, notification towards this convention. So I'm very grateful. All right, you made mention of giving back to the school. How do you define or what do you think you will give back to the school as uh, all students? Now, uh, that's a very good question. I appreciate that. Um, one of the, the school anthem actually has a line in there celebrating the school as bringing us and giving us basic education and also being a celebrated alma mater. It's, it's like a mother to us. So as we grow in life, we have to go back somehow. We are passionate about our alma mater, our mother. We want to see how well, what is the current state of infrastructure in the school? What is the federal government doing about it? You know, what are the current administration, the teachers in the school doing about it? And then we'll now see what we can do to augment whatever is being done out of our own personal, uh, our pockets and contributions. Bear in mind that currently with the age of the school, we have people who have gone through the school who are captains of industry right now, who are medi top medical doctors, engineers, government um, administrators, politicians. So we want to be able to congregate. We see for ourselves for hand, so we're not told stories. It's not pictures. We can see what is the state of the, the accommodation, the hostel in the school. What is the state of the, the buildings for studies? Do they have computers for, for this modern day IT? You know, um, how are the students uh, participating in sports? Are they carrying on the flag of the top sportsmen in Benin Kogi State? Even just like we had during our time in the 80s and in the 90s. So with that, we can give on the sport assessment and see what we can contribute financially or even get involved as project managers to take individual projects to make sure that we can bring the school back to its past glory, if I put it that way. At least bring it to modern day standards. Sometimes when you have such kind of reunion, yes. you usually have one or two or a few members of your colleagues that are having the problems financially, yes. spiritually, or morally. And yes. you put that into consideration, that few members that you find amongst you, that you are willing to help them to move on with their life. Oh, oh absolutely. Fantastic question. Um, you know, I mentioned that these are opportunities to network. You know, so when, when we all come together, we meet old colleagues who we've not seen, and we can, we can appraise ourselves, we can catch up, we can touch base you know, on how things have developed in our life over the years. Already in place, we have welfare committees, but besides the welfare committee, where you take your issues to, to notify and see where you can get help formally, there's also the one-to-one -one relationship. The people you had grown up with as a child, from the age of 12 to 16 before you left school, mm. you know, when you see people, then you are able to relate with yourself and assist each other, not just financially. There is also need for, um, for like you stated uh, quite clearly, spiritual assistance. Besides that, there's also things like, you know, career uh, development assistance. Mm. You know, networking to place one and other in different places to develop ourselves, to be the people that we are meant to be, you know. Um, so it's a phenomenal opportunity for us all to come together, network and see how we are progressing with ourselves and see how we can empower ourselves. It can only be for good, because with that, we're able to build a better nation as we build ourselves. That's really one of the, the, the foundations of this association. Well, thank you, sir. But before we round up, do you have anything yes, to, to finally? Oh, yes. I would like to say the following. Um, I, for one, am a graduate of the year 1986. It's been over approximately 30 years I've been out of that place. There's so many... Old colleagues, I put it this way, that have gone through the school that have missed all these years. 
It will be a phenomenal opportunity for us all to come together and let's come crack some jokes. Let's mm. come dance. Let's come hit ourselves. Let's come fight a bit in a friendly way. You know, let's touch base and leave Ugolawo on the 3rd of November empowered, both spiritually. Because going back there is a spiritual rebirth. I must tell everyone this thing. You know, empower ourselves in our businesses. For those of us who are in politics, just empower ourselves politically and challenge ourselves to build a greater nation. Because I believe there is no one that can actually bring Nigeria together better than a Unity Guard graduate. We are the ethos. We carry the ethos pro unitate because Nigeria is one and must carry on being one. We are a great nation and a good people. So I look forward to welcoming every old student to Ugola will come the first and second of November this year. Let's celebrate and enjoy ourselves. I thank you. Thank you very much, sir.